Well, Dr. Tammy joins us now for another segment focused on women's health. So thank hey, you Tammy. for being back, Dr. Tammy. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. I love it here. Thanks. So last time you were here, we talked about menopause. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of continuing on with that, it, menopause tends to slow our metabolism down. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know that that is a struggle for a lot of women trying to kind of stay trim during mm -hmm. that time of their life. You know, it's funny, we were just talking in the green room this morning about menopause and all the symptoms that come with that. Mm -hmm. And there was a young lady and she was saying, you know, it's, it, it's not talked about. And we're just now getting where we can actually talk about menstrual cycles, right? right? And so if a woman had to literally just dry up at your age, imagine tomorrow yeah. you wake up and your hormones are gone. Right. Yeah. You know, what, would, what impact would that have? And you would become more sedentary. Right. And if you're more sedentary, you're not going to exercise more. Mm -hmm. You are craving sugar because your insulin's now taking over. So some of the main things that you can do at that point is definitely change the narrative and get help. And you're not a martyr. You know, it's funny because when we talk about hormones, I get a little passionate about this, but when we talk about hormones, you have to define what hormone you're talking about. Because mm. you immediately went to estrogen when I said hormones, right? And you immediately go to they cause cancer. There was a study done over 2000, or in 2002, over 20 years ago. And it, it wasn't real. And, and so right. people are just they're blown away when I say hormones do not cause cancer. Because hormones are insulin and thyroid, and no doctor would say if you needed insulin because you're a diabetic or you had your thyroid out that you can't have hormones because they cause cancer. Right. And doctors right. write for birth control pills every day. Those are hormones. Yeah. I mean, you don't even ha hardly have to have a prescription to get birth control. You need to go to Planned Parenthood or something, right. you know. And so it's just nuts that we put that on a category. So hormones actually regulate your metabolism like insulin. And so it's so important that you have, if you are a woman over the age of 50, especially in perimenopause, that first of all, you have a conversation about that because you are never gonna lose weight and you're only gonna gain weight and become more sedentary. So there are a few other things that you can do because the things that you did before don't work anymore. Sure. Exercise more and eating less, it just doesn't work because your metabolism is completely shut down. Yeah. But there are some things that you can do and I say focus not on losing weight but gaining muscle and getting stronger. Mm. Yeah, and you were so saying strength ways. training is the key. Right? Strength training for sure. And that doesn't have to be much. Just get some barbells or you know dumbbells, five, 10 pounds, and you can use, work your larger muscle groups. And that goes a long way. Core strength. I have this little thing. It looks like a little pizza platter. And it has like the little ball on the bottom. Yeah. Now be careful. My disclaimer <laughs> is like the first time you get on it, even if you're young, I mean, yeah. you got to get you one because you'll be head. like, oh yeah. my gosh, you're like jello legs. And um, that builds core strength. So those are big muscles in there that can keep you from falling as you get a little bit older too, things to look at. And increasing your protein. So building muscle. And muscle will burn fat for you preferentially. So those are just real powerhouse tips. Yeah. But you know, the bottom line is please can we ch change the narrative that there are lots of different hormones. There are actually several different estrogens. So if you want to get down mm. to the crux of estrogen, and that study was totally negated, and actually hormones after menopause and perimenopause, perimenopausal women can take hormones too, um, can actually prevent cancer, can prevent heart disease, and there are so many studies that support that. So go look it up. Don't take my word right. for it. I mean, I'm not just some crazy lady up here, you know, some in the, no, in check the it forest. Out. There's your Hormone Bliss website yes, right there. Yes. And you want to reach out to Tammy if you've got yes. any questions or to set up a consultation. I'm making it, no, I, I'm making it affordable and accessible. You can literally get a kit at home for less than $250. Wow. Check your hormones. Find out, do your research. I have lots of resources on there, and I'm so excited. It launches today, okay. hormonebliss.com. That's the place. Check it out, and there's lots of information, too. Yes. Thank so you. Excited. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Yeah.